Hey everybody, today we have a quick video where there's an interesting list made and sent to me by at the logic ninja and I'm just reading through it. So as we go through them, just let me know which ones you agree with, disagree with, which ones you like, dislike, and why. I'm also pretty busy because my semester is ending and exams are coming up, so the next video is going to be on Friday, which is quite late from when I usually do it. It'll be back to normal after that. I've decided to do Clementine Ford as my douchebag video because I've been wanting to talk about her for a while because she just sucks. I've been wanting to say something about her for a while and I might as well do it, so that's the video that's going to come up late. Number 1. SGWs always lie. Number 2. SGWs always project. Number 3. SJWs always double down. Number 4. SJWs always turn on their own. Number 5. SJWs nepotize and ostracize based on their politics, thus taking over any institution where one gets in charge. 6. SJWs will instantly fire, demonize, deplatform, ban, witch hunt someone who takes any anti SJW position. However, Whenever an SJW makes a flagrantly defamatory and offensive statement, SJWs protect him with every ounce of sweat and blood they can muster. Compare Colin Kaepernick to James Damore or Paula Dean. 7. SJWs never apologize but always demand apologies as well as punishment. 8. SJWs are never appeased. No concession is ever enough. Just don't bother. 9. SJWs see their opponents as evil, bad people, deplorables, etc. and slander, treat them as such. Number 10. SJWs will try to destroy the lives and jobs of their detractors, often with lies and slander. 11. SJWs cannot report a quote or event without thoroughly rewriting it to their narrative. 12. SJWs are fanatically xenophobic, backing and praising anything that is not normal Western civilization. 13. SJWs try to own the language. Guns with hand stocks become assault weapons. Illegal immigration becomes just immigration. Racial profiling becomes profiling. Supply side economics becomes trickle down, etc. 14. SJW debates are usually just label and dismiss instead of actually debating the topics or the merits of any proposition. They label the user or the argument and just dismiss it. That's racist, mansplaining, whitesplaining, homophobic, etc. You're a troll, intolerant, hate-filled, bigoted, ignorant, racist, etc. 15. SJWs use argument by mockery. Since they nearly always get destroyed in debates or in any form where their views are challenged, they let the nation's comedians do the job. They present SJW viewpoints as reasonable while depicting their enemies, usually strawmanning, as laughable but psychotic dunces. 16. SJWs are known for strawmanning while they create a false position or ideology for an opposing group and then attack this false position. As an example, Lena Dunham on SNL described men's rights as men who want women to be paid less than men. 17. SJW groups get to name their detractors which usually ends in phobic as in irrational fear of. No one ever seems to challenge the pejorative, even the offensive and incorrect anti-immigration. 18. SJWs are fanatically obsessed with the white male straight western law enforcement class-based oppression. They see every event as oppression from these forces or the result of oppression from these forces. Black criminal shot by cop equals police brutality and racism, whereas Asian cop shot by black man equals the result of institutionalized racism and police brutality. Possible bad motives from a pet group are rarely explored. 19. SJWs have no respect for national law if it violates their political ideologies. They will openly defy break national laws even at the state or local government level. You are racist, etc. if you want national law enforced. 20. SJWs have no respect for any law and will use blockades, property destruction, invasions and violence. 20a. SJW journalist will not report it or report it positively or report the actions that caused it or they will report the other side as somehow deserving it. Inconvenience is a popular term here. And 20b. SJW's people in charge will allow it. Tell security to step down, not arrest the lawbreakers, not pursue any penalties against the perpetrators and will often praise them. 
So yeah, that was pretty interesting and I just thought I'd kind of go through it. I didn't really make any comments myself because I more just wanted to present this as something that would kind of prompt other people to make their own responses to it. Plus, as I said, I don't really have that much time right now, but I also wanted to come out with a video, so this was really cool and you can thank at the Logic Ninja if you enjoyed this. I also got requests for doing a video on the SJW course at uni that I have to do, and since I'm coming to the end of my semester soon, I won't have to do that course anymore because it's only mandatory for the first year, and I figured I could wait until my semester ends first before I come out with that video just to kind of do an overview wrap up, so that's really what I'm going to do there. I haven't really had time to update anything or work on anything really big because of all the stuff that's happening towards the end of semester. I only have a couple weeks left and then afterwards I'm on break so I can just start working on the Gail Cord Shula documentary properly. I can start just doing what I usually do. There won't be these big gaps between videos and stuff like that, so yeah. If you have other lists like this or just stuff like that, um, feel free to tell me on Twitter. Just send it to me like the Logic Ninja did because I find them quite interesting. And they make for quite neat little videos where I can just read them out and then you can kind of tell me what your response to them are. Also, as I mentioned a while back, I like to narrate stories and I've been doing that on my other channel when I have time. So if you have a story or you know someone who has a story that you can get permission from them that has to do with social justice and stuff like that, I could gladly narrate that on this channel. You know, like a Halloween thing or something like that. Instead of talking about how SJWs are reacting to Halloween, I could just come out with a dystopian story someone sent me and do a narration. I think that that would be quite nice. And as always, if you have links to stuff like that, just send it to me on Twitter instead because YouTube is terrible with that sort of stuff and they won't let me see it half the time, so yeah. <laughs>